Today, I want to talk about some techniques for handling a famous Oracle error. Error number one, unique constraint violated. Here's an example of the problem working in the Scott demonstration schema. Insert into emp, emp no, selects 7899 plus row num from dual, connects by level less than or equal to 10. I'm trying to insert 10 rows into emp. Run the statement. Fails. Unique constraint, scott.pkemp violated. And the problem is this. Employees 7900, James, and 7902, Ford, already exist. So the whole statement is rolled back. This is extremely annoying, especially if perhaps it's just one row out of millions that hits the problem. I'm going to present two simple techniques for managing this. First, using the error logging facility. This was introduced in release 10, and it does require a small amount of preparation. Execute dbms .create error log and nominate the table on which the error log will be created. Now, I modify my insert statement slightly by appending an error logging clause. Insert into emp emp no, select the values, connect by level, log errors into err dollar underscore emp, reject limit unlimited. Of course, there's quite a lot more syntax that can go into this, but that will do for a simple example. Run the code. The eight rows that were acceptable go in. The two rows that were duplicated, James and, Clark, James and Ford, are not there, as we can see here. So the original rows survive. We've inserted just eight new ones. There is a slight drawback with this, though. We do have to do some maintenance on the error logging table, and you can see what's going on in that. If I select the message and the value from the error logging table, there we see 7900 failed, 7902 failed, both because of the unique constraint. So I do need to tidy up that table from time to time. I'll just roll back the insert and then do the maintenance. Truncate the error logging table. However, from release 11.2, there's another technique that may be significantly better. It's a rather strange hint. There's no preparation needed, just a small modification to the code. Insert. And now the hint. Slash star plus, ignore row on dupe key index and nominate the table and the index that is used to enforce that primary key constraint. And then the rest of the insert statement. And my eight rows have gone straight in. Here we can see the results. The two existing rows are there, James and Ford, and the eight new ones inserted with no problems at all. The attempted inserts of the two duplicate rows just failed silently. The individual row inserts were rolled back. The statement as a whole remained intact. A quick and easy solution that needs no configuration. How cool is that?